Come on, Joe. We're going to be... My goodness, what's going on? This should all have been packed up ages ago. We're going to be late. You're a big boy. I should not be having to do this for you. It's not funny. I'm not laughing at you, Mum. Mummy, Mummy. What are you laughing at, then? Me and Ozzy were... Ozzy and I were... Ozzy and I were looking at a picture of a fruit bat. We both pointed and shouted out, Mr Wade! You shouldn't be making fun of teachers, or anyone else for that matter. But don't you think it's funny how we thought the same thing? No. Does it mean we can read each other's mind? No, I think it means that you're both rather silly and rather unkind. Who is this Ozzy, anyway? My best friend. I haven't met him. I know. He's new. Come on, get your shoes. We'll put your coat down the stairs. Oh, sorry, what's happening with Room? Oh, she's got a meeting with her PMA this week. A what? Professional midwifery advocate. Someone who will guide her through the meeting with the NMC. And when will that be? I have no idea. Oh, I just can't believe it, Room, of all people, suspended. Yeah, it's absolutely awful. It's just... How are we going to look Mr Wade in the eye at parents' evening? <laughs> if he's hanging upside down, it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Stop it. We could offer him some fruit. <laughs> could do. Are you here all week? <laughs> yeah, seriously, I, I'm, I'm wondering, has Joe got something on his mind? Such as? Well, remember the time that he asked me if I loved Izzy more than him? Well, you reassured him. Yeah, I did, but it's confusing, isn't it? Love. I mean, even intelligent grown-ups like us have trouble with it. Where is this going? Do you think he's felt neglected since we got back together? He seems perfectly happy to me. Why do you think we need to talk to him? What if Ozzy's somebody he's talking to online? You know, like another pixie, only this time not Al. Daniel, you know that that's not possible. We've blocked just about everything on his computer. Yeah, you're right, stupid. Forget I said it. Maybe there's another explanation. Such as? Well, when I was his age, I went through a phase of thinking that my mum didn't love me. And what did you do about it? I created an imaginary friend. <laughs> so what if Ozzy doesn't exist? What if he's Joe's imaginary friend? Well, that's ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Emma. Thanks. Mark, what do you think? Ozzy sounds a bit like Izzy. You're reading too much into this. Am I? What was your invisible friend called? Sparky. Sparky. Yeah, don't make a big deal of that it. That doesn't even sound like a person. Well, because he started life off as a cat. But he could be a boy if he wanted to be. Sort of like a shapeshifter, you know? Goodness, what a vivid imagination. You know, my, my mum liked ballroom dancing. And uh, <laughs> one time, Sparky spirited away her dance shoes, never to be found again. What happened to them? Well, only Sparky knew, and he wasn't telling. Oh. You wanted your mum to stay in with you. Yeah. Didn't work. She went out and bought a new pair. <laughs> Poor baby. Do you think this is what's going on with Joe? Have you got a better explanation? Mmm. He's so mega. Hello. I can hear you singing. Aren't you supposed to be doing some homework? I am. Did you know mega bat was another name for a fruit bat? I wish you'd stop all this silliness about that. But we're making up a story. By we, you mean you and Ozzy? Yes. Mega Bat's a man in the daytime. And a bat at night. I'm afraid that's been done before. No, because he's a bat who pretends to be a man. <laughs> so who did this? Ozzy. Is Ozzy with us now? Well, where does he live? I don't know. Joe, darling. He could be hiding under the bed. <sighs> You're in a silly mood, aren't you? Why don't you go and do your teeth? I'm not going to get any sense out of you, am I? Ha! I made you look. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>